If you can't put your pedal assist sensor stuff on that side, which is the better side, uh, you need you need to put it on the chain set itself or the crank set as they call it. Here, this is a, a magnetic one. But the problem with this is you need a very small bolt circle diameter. That's these things bolt to bolt. Because there's five bolts here, you need to imagine that. But going straight through there, that's 74 millimetres in mine. It needs to be either 64 millimetres or 74 millimetres, which is tiny. You know, you're talking 21 tooth. And this one is 30 teeth, but it's a, this is an unusual one. This is almost obsolete, even though it was only made like four years ago. I mean, triple rings are almost obsolete now. I don't think Shimano Cues is making any at all. And so with this adapter, if it was 64 millimeter four, four bolt, which would be tiny, even smaller than that, I'd be able to just magnetically put that on it. But because, but with 74 millimeter five bolt ones, you use this, and it's an adapter, and I can put that on. And it's pretty, I don't think it'll fall off. You could cable tie it if you wanted, but I don't think it'll fall off. I would say at the moment, for a sensor, electronic, uh, the best type probably for this problem would be a clip-on one. And I got one, and it fits completely, but it doesn't work electronically. So, it, electronically, it doesn't match my microcontroller for some reason. But I would say that's the best option you've got at the moment, unless you can find a wireless one or something. Yeah, because then, then you could sort of clip that there or something. It would have still been pretty tight, you know. Probably I would have needed to take all this off, all this stuff. But I would have been able to glue it there probably or something. But uh, it doesn't work anyway, so I'm all out of luck. This is my first interaction with an e-bike kit. I've got the pedal assist sensor working. But because the sensor's so near to the magnetic disc, it's rubbing, it's the metal that's actually rubbing. So it's actually the the ring, the metal ring. It's not that sensor itself, I don't think. But uh, I don't know how to fix that yet. But all I'm going to do today, because this is coming through here, it's touching the cables and that, I'm going to put that the other way around. So I'm going to put a, a badly fitted sensor that's been hammered into position. I'm going to put it in a badly fitted in the other side. Fans will know this is my umpteenth video on this. It's Holotech 2. There's no space, there's no gap to put the an ordinary sensor on because there's no gap. I seem to be the only one making videos on this Holotech 2 problem. Probably there's others, but I don't know why because I think we're all going to have this problem soon. It's going to be a future-proof video. Why don't they have wireless sensors? Why? Why? If I had a, if I had a square taper, traditional square taper, there'd be a gap there. Square taper brought and back it, and I could just put this one piece on that uh, Yossi Power gave me with the kit. It would be all so easy. This is the one Yossi Power suggested that I buy myself, but it's, a, it's just a it's problems. Anyhow, if I move this round, it means that I'll get this cable away from these things. Apparently you can get a type that's bracket mounted sensor. So it would go here. I don't know if it, mine would still be too close to my, my chain rings I think, but uh, that's another option you've got. There you go, perfect symmetry. I'm all set, or so I thought. I had to batter that away from uh, here. Um, yeah, with hindsight I wish I'd put a bit more thought into it, you know, but uh, I don't know if it would have made any difference, but there you go. The metal's rubbing somehow. I think it's maybe this bit here, but I don't want to try again because it just snaps or something, you know. You need this tool to get that bottom bracket off. As you can see, I've damaged that, you know. I don't know if it's a poor quality tool or poor quality me, you know, probably me. But uh, yeah, I'm not very happy about that. I'm going to write down everything it says on this because I'm, I'm probably going to change to a square taper bottom bracket. Which means I'll probably I'll need to buy a new crank set as well, but I'm having so many problems with us. I think that's what I'll do. I'm pretty sure to untighten when it's upside down, both of these go towards the back wheel. 
Only the hammer. Probably more damage. Okay, the size off this. Write it down. If I get a square taper bottom bracket, everything will need to be the exact same size, you know, the, the width here, the width across. I think that's the info there, but I've got those two bits. Look at all the damage in that, I'm really unhappy about that. Personally, I'll be really happy when these sort of ring sensors are no more, except if they're one piece maybe, but uh, yeah, it's just a nuisance. It's... Try for a clip on if you can, if you're having to put it on the drive side, drive chain side, you'll need to find one that's compatible. And if you switch to square, square taper, you will need the exact same thread you know, thread count or whatever they call it. This is the one Yossi Power suggested, but uh, they didn't tell you you'd probably need to buy a new crank set as well. I mean, this sensor would be all right if uh, that was further back, you know. It'd be good if you, you could make them so you can do it yourself, further them back. Maybe someone with better tools could do a better job than me, but if I could get that, I might even, does it? Yeah, it is bending actually. Maybe. I've bent it a bit further. Hopefully not too far. Mm. That may work even better. Although I'll probably snap at some point, you know. Yeah, it's not a great situation. In this video, I'm just moving it round to there so I can get away from these cables because I, I hadn't thought about these cables under here. Like I say, you can get bottom bracket sensors now that the uh, it's a plate that sort of goes over that, a plastic plate. But it, it looks complicated to me. I mean, really, I would just want a clip on. That would be my first option now, now that I realise. But the one I bought didn't work electronically. So I'm putting my badly fitted sensor to that, to that. So it gets it away from the cables away. We put that along here. Yeah, it's all good. Just checking if there's any damage to this. I probably wouldn't be able to tell anyway. But I wonder if I've solved the rubbing just by, you know, moving that away there. I mean, you're putting bottom brackets on. When it's upside down, you go towards the front wheel, I do believe. It says it on it anyway. It says tighten. Gives an arrow. Towards the front wheel. If I've moved that sensor back towards there and it's not rubbing anymore, then it's it's not a double dodgy fix anymore, it's just slightly dodgy. So that's a bonus I wasn't expecting. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. This is how you tighten it, upside down, towards the front wheel. It's, it's pushing now, it's, the sensor's pushing away. And we'll see how it goes. I've st still to tighten it more, but you know, it's looking pretty good. You tighten it more, someday, see, see that's moving, the sensor's moving now. Someday I'll not be able to move this anymore because it's so damaged. Hopefully not soon. Hopefully when I've sold it on. I 
I'm going to take the gamble and not use the hammer this time and just to try and not damage it. But uh, I think the torque in this may, is maybe pretty a lot. The sensor sort of lodged itself against that there with the metal bit, which is alright. You know, it's holding it in place. I can get my cable through here, that's what, that's the main thing. Yeah, because that should be right on my... doesn't matter where it is around the circle really, does it? It's away from all these sort of derailleur cables, brake cables. I used a mallet to sort of hammer that back, but I wonder if I should have tried pliers first. We'll never know now. I'm a bit worried this isn't on tight enough, but uh, I'm going to try it anyway. And now uh, I'm going to see if, if I've moved that back, the sensor. Feels like it's still rubbing. Only a bit though, it's a bit better. I'll need to get a bit of a good check. It feels about the same. Still sort of rubbing. And the magnetic dust actually came away a minute ago. I don't know if I was squeezing that in too tight, you know. Don't know. I'll give that a look and see if I can bend it anymore. But that's all I can do for just now. I'm just glad to get it away from all the cables and all that, you know, underneath. Yeah, when I squeezed it in there, it came away again. You can see here. I think the metal scraping, you know, under here, like, right over there. If I didn't need that adapter, it would have probably been alright. But that, having that adapter was just the final, the final bit that made it too thick for me anyway. Anyone know what this is for? And this cranks it. Yeah, it's a compression thing, it sort of squeezes this and you know, when you tighten up the bolts. Make sure it's 180, the cranks, or you won't be able to pedal good. Yeah, that sounds as if it's rubbing worse actually, so uh, this looks like a, a fail. I think I've done this in the wrong order, but I can't be bothered even checking. If it's too tight, I've ob obviously have, but it fits, so I'm going with it. Need that tool. Back to the sensor. I think currently what it is, it's just too tight, so... But I'll look about and adjusting that. I prefer it round the other side anyway, rather than around here, to get away from the cables. But uh, that's all I can do just now. So close yet, so far. We're talking a millimeter or something. Well, that's today's attempt over. Join me for tomorrow's. Well, I got a cable out of the way, so that was good. So, as usual, I've got an e-bike that floats in here, but that's about it. That's all I feel safe on. Nah, I'm going to give that a go, actually. I mean, the worst, maybe the disc will just fall off, I don't know, mate. if I'm lucky. Oh yeah, the wheel rubs too, I forgot to mention that. I don't actually know why, but I'm starting to see rubbing marks there. I think it's rubbing against this, so uh, the pannier thing. So, I'll try filling that down, if that's a problem. I'm not happy with it being here now, so I'm going to move it to over here, but uh, Probably that's for another session. New plan of action, it's make or break. A bit better by the way.
No, it's not touching that pioneer point thing. Yes, but no.